Hi there and welcome to this lesson where we're going to start adding layers to the track. Now in the previous lesson I played you this short demo where I added a couple of VSTs and some pads. And I'm going to teach you how to start layering different tracks on top of each other and choosing the correct sort of sounds for this sort of music that was produced in the late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s and so on. These are the fundamentals for house music um, and early garage house and you know that, that late 80s, early 90s techno house crossover sort of sound and it's all a case of layering the sounds and playing the correct sort of notes and using you know pianos and various other things that we need to uh, create that classic sound um, okay so what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this riff <laughs> like that we're going to create that using a couple of the synths that we did in the previous lesson so let's move on and move forwards first thing what we need to do is once we've created the track that we did in the second to last lesson we came up with this where we had the rim shot and the uh, ride symbol and now we need to fill that gap with this pad and we can use any kind of pad really as long as it's kind of deep and moody um, but what I found in Ableton is this one called the light keys and if you go over to your instruments rack and into synth keys and it's there and it's basically uh, a synth and you plug it over and what we've got if we play the notes let's just play a couple of notes it's kind of gritty it's very gritty so what we need to do is take the pedal off down here in the controls and get rid of the pedal and then we'll have it's clean then and that's perfect for this kind of moody sort of housey techno sort of vibe that we're creating here in this little demo um, and what we're going to do is we're going to play two notes from each octave uh, so you're going to play lower octave and a higher octave and we're going to play the D2 and the D3 in the second and third octave of a keyboard. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that, what that means is, if we open up our piano roll on the pre-recorded one that I've done, you can see that here we have the keyboard, and in the keyboard, it's noted C1, C2, and all the way up to the top, C3, C4, C8, etc. That means that's an octave between each single, uh, each set of notes. So 12 notes on a, on a in an octave, C to C and then it goes up in octaves, so one, two, three, four. We're gonna play the D2, which is here, and the D3 at the same time. And then the E3 and the E2. And then the B3 and the B2. And it just gives off a real nice atmosphere. But we're gonna play them we're going to play the B longer than the, the C and the, the D and the E. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3. Like so. So we're going to record that in now. And we don't really need to do a lot more than that. I'm going to delete the one that I've already done. And I'm going to record this in. I'm going to go back a little bit. You don't have to put the metronome on, but you can do if you need to. Because you've got the beat as a guide, you pretty much know where it's going to come in. And it's going to land just here. So I'm going to hit record and we'll go from there. And that's it. And then we open that up and we make sure that what we do is we shorten it to the length of each note. So if you don't know where the length of each note is, just open the drop down up. Like so, if you see it, if it ends like that, we don't need this extra bit on, do we? So we just get rid of that, and then we shorten that. And we double click on it, open up the piano roll, which is down there, and then what we do is we select all of them with our mouse. Just hold the mouse button down, edits and quantize, and make sure that they are on the line. So like so, so that they are all on each individual line, so that they're not overlapping in any way. If they're like that, slightly over, just press Control, Edit, Quantize. 
and it'll pull it into place and then we'll line that up and line that up and then make sure the ends are the same as well so that they roll over one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and there we go and there we have it so that's that little riff you could have an experimentation with uh, many of the different pad sounds in here but um, I found that this one is the best suited for this kind of deep moodiness that we want. So we're going to copy those over now by pressing control and your left mouse button holding down. Copy them over. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the bass line. So hopefully what you should be doing is copying over these drums here and we've got these claps over as well. And we've copied that over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install the synth that we installed earlier. This is the OXE VST. And we're going to pull that in and that opens up like this. And then we're not going to do anything to this preset. We're going to keep it as it is because it is a classic house sound. And if you go into the menu drop here, you scroll down and you find the one called Lately Bass, and it's there, look. Click that, and then press keyboard. And that is that standard old school house sound. And what we're gonna do with this, because it's quiet, we're gonna open it up, um, and we're gonna add something to it, which is called um, a utility. Now, what this does is, this just makes things louder. So, uh, we're gonna compress it and EQ it later, but at the moment, we need to hear it. So we're just going to turn the gain up on this to about 3 decibels. You can type it in, just type 3.0 and then go like this up. It just brings it out more. You could go up another another decibel, go to 4.0. And it makes it louder. And it doesn't clip in any way. It's dead quiet anyway. Look. So if we turn it up even more, so let's go to 5 decibels. And what that does is it makes it louder um, for the time being before we EQ it and stuff so we can hear it in the mix. And we're going to drop that over here and we're going to play the same notes that we did here but only with one note. So we're not going to go like we did with those pads. We're just going to go on octave 2 which is the D2 note, the E2 note and the B1 note. Now that's the important bit. We'll go down. So... What I said earlier in the lesson was that we were playing the B2 and the, and the, the, uh, the B3 notes with the pads. I, um, I've got it wrong. It was actually the B1 and the B2. Because I was doing the D1, D2 and the D3 on the E's and the D. I forgot that when we went down to the B, it's actually B1 and not B2 and B3. So forgive me for that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a little pattern in. And in the next lessons, in the next few lessons that are coming up in the course, we are going to go on to doing um, bass patterns and melodic uh, bass patterns. So uh, you will learn more about that in the next session. But for now, as we're building this little track throughout the course, I want you to be able to uh, play this simple notes in and we can go from there. So I'm going to hit record on the bass. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then what I did was there, I went up to the second octave, so it went like this. And then this one, and I go up to the next one, and I high, hit a higher note. And you'll see that in a minute, because it gives it off that a little bit of different sort of dynamic. So we open it up, and then we can see our pattern here, and you can see that last note there, look. And we select everything, and we quantize, edit, quantize. And the notes are like this, look. I'm going to solo the bass. If those notes are short, just extend them slightly. So what you do is here, we're going to select them all and grab one of the volumes down here so that we can see all the notes there, look, all the different velocity levels. And we're going to turn them up to the full blast. So 
So take a look at that bass pattern and replicate that and just play it. It's very simple. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, 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 one. Like that. And then what we want to do next is we want to start adding a little bit of piano. So we're going to do that by adding the rave generator over here. And once we've got that in store, we open it up. And there we go. And what we need to do in the Rave Generator is we need to look at the browser menu and look at Synth. Double click on that. And if you scroll down, you will see M1 Piano. And this is the classic old school Rave Piano sound that's been used a thousand times on many different records. And um, I'm going to call it M1 Piano. Okay. And I'm going to name that Lately Bass. We'll just call it Bass. Lately. Um, okay. And this piano riff is the famous one that everyone's used back in the day. So we need to go down to the first octave with our left hand. And our third octave for the riff. And all we're doing is playing three different notes. On the right hand we're playing C, D and F. On the left hand we're playing a D root. And I'm going to put the keyboard up now so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And if you can see that it's highlighted. So I'm going to go like this lot. So it's D, E and F. C, D and F. Then up to the E. And then the D, E, G. And then the B. And the A, the B and the D. That's all we're doing and this is just to add a little filler to this section here so what we need to do first is copy over our bass pattern and open that up like so and then we're going to select all of those that we've just done the light keys the bass and those extended bits and we're going to copy them over there like so so we've got extra bits there and then what we're going to do is we're just going to extend that loop there and we're going to record in the piano riff on this section here okay so it's going to come in there so I'm going to hit record. And that's all I'm going to do. A very little quick sketch. Okay. Double click. Open it up. Open up the notes. And let's change the colour of the clip so we've got a bit more brighter. Let's go for yellow. Okay. Select all of those. Quantize. Oop, that one's out, so pull that one in. Perfect. And there we go. But what we need to do with this piano riff is, because it's um, a sample, it's taken from an old, it's been sampled and... and uh, timed up uh, key wise within a rumpler sampler type thing we need to add a little bit of uh, reverb to it because the notes aren't extended and aren't long like this look it cuts off quite dead at the end so what we need to do is remember what we did in the previous lesson where we had the concert hall over here in the bus channel well we need to add it onto the m1 piano so we turn it up to about three o'clock and now play it Gives it off that tail end and it adds that tailness to it so which is great which is got we've got that decay that we want there might be an extension here where we can add a bit of decay where the decay is on here attack decay let's have a look at this so that's better you could add more decay on there if you click on those buttons so let's have a look that's better okay so we've got that in there, we've done that, and now we've got a little riff, we're going to copy that over there like so. Okay, so there we go, there's a little sketch that we've created, and we've used the piano and the bass sound from the two VSTs that we've imported. Now then, what we're going to do here is we're going to save this project here, and then in the next few lessons we're going to learn some new techniques, and take, a, take all of the fundamentals 
um, based around early house music and the fundamentals that are, you know, house music um, related. So such as snare rolls and effects and everything else that we're going to do. So head over to the next few lessons where we're going to develop our techniques revolved around house music production. And then we're going to come back to this track and finish it off at a later time. Thank you for watching. Any questions, just email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and goodbye.